Hello, my name is Gary Simmons and I'm building a Xena 750 and I've installed a Viking 130 engine onto my airframe. This video is about getting the air out of the coolant system which prevents the thermostat from engaging and your entire system uh, being cooled. So I'm going to go over that procedure that Jan has um, given me and hopefully it'll help you with any cooling issues that you have after you get your motor started. I first noticed the issue after I started my engine and uh, warmed it up at idle. I noticed that the, uh, the coolant temperature uh, warning came on indicating the temperature was over 200 degrees and as I was feeling around to see how the coolant was flowing through the system I noticed that, um, that these pipes were cool. In other words, while, while it was getting hot in various places uh, on the engine that the, the pipes were cool and so my conclusion was is that the thermostat was not opened and therefore um, the system wasn't uh, engaged completely and so in a, with a call to Jan he informed me that I have air in my system and so the process will be to restart the engine uh, first uh, we're filling this thing up halfway on the reservoir and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the engine to 200 degrees and shut it down and then the system will create a vacuum and it'll pull coolant out of the reservoir into the system and then I'll repeat that process until I've maintained a uh, sufficient level where it's uh, now stabilized and then I'll recheck restart the engine and make sure that everything's flowing as it should be so we'll try start that process next Oops. set for about four hours and we're going to check the coolant level. It was left at the half filled mark and we'll see how much it draws into the system. So I've just completed that uh, run up to 200 degrees and I'm just checking the radiator system now. These tubes right here are still cold so that's meaning there's nothing uh, moving from the thermostat here which is hot. This is hot right now but all these tubes are cold so there's nothing getting through it and so we've got some air in the system preventing that to operate correctly And so as I've mentioned I've gone ahead and pre-filled the coolant reservoir halfway and over the next four hours we'll hopefully watch it draw into the system more coolant and then we'll make a mark and we'll restore that back up so to make sure this tank always has fluid in it until it stabilizes and then we'll check to make sure we have the entire system working correctly okay the first four hours is up and I've gone ahead and indicated the uh, mark the level on the coolant reservoir and as you can see it's just lowered it slightly so I'm going to go ahead and restart the engine and let, uh, let it heat up to the coolant temperature is above 200 and we'll shut it down and repeat the process. I'll make another mark at the end of that four hours. So we'll get that started right now. Right now. 
So as you can see, the bottom mark, um, that's almost a quarter of the way up, a little bit beyond a quarter of the way up, indicates where it was uh, prior to starting up the engine. And so as you can see, the coolant's been pushed back into the reservoir up to its original um, starting place. And so we'll see how much coolant is drawn back into the engine. And now that I've verified that indeed the, uh, the coolant is making its way all the way through the radiator, and I've been able to use a fan right beneath the radiator and cool the temperature down. So I'm real confident now that everything is working the way it's supposed to. And so the last thing that we'll look at is uh, where the coolant lands after the engine is completely cooled down. Okay, I've uh, completed my run-ups and allowed the uh, engine to cool four hours after each uh, time I've I've heated up the uh, coolant and the last two times I ran up the engine I did uh, was able to find out that the coolant was going through my entire system including the radiator and so I just want to point out that we began the process with this halfway mark my coolant uh, reservoir was filled halfway and then after the first uh, run it drew in um, oh, about a, a quarter of an inch uh, lower and then uh, uh, subsequent uh, runs uh, produced this level so this is where it's stabilized right now at this point and I'm just going to uh, uh, complete the uh, whole process by filling the reservoir halfway and that'll just be my baseline from now on and so once again I did verify that the uh, thermostat is uh, engaging when the temperature reaches about 200 degrees and then the radiator kicks in. I've, I've put a fan underneath the radiator, so I'm, I'm seeing that the uh, system is cooling the engine and it's uh, running good. So I hope this has been helpful.